Hi and Assalamualaikum. My name is Nor Atisha binti Muhammad Roslan and I will be explaining on introduction part. Gas chromatography is one of the most often used chromatography techniques for separating volatile molecules or substances. It becomes one of the most essential instrument in chemistry due to its simplicity, high sensitivity and ability to successfully separate mixtures. It consists of two phases. First, mobile phase. The mobile phase is a gas like helium. It carries the mixture through the stationary phase. Next, stationary phase. The stationary phase is a high boiling liquid absorbed on a solid. Substances that interact more with the stationary phase are delayed and hence separated from substances that interact less with the stationary phase. For vanillin and milk powder, vanillin is commonly utilized as a food flavor enhancer because of its vanilla scent and rich milky flavor. One of the method for identifying volatile components in vanilla extracts and flavorings is gas chromatography. Hi, my name is Wan Akida binti Wausan Oriasa and I will explain about the methodology in experiment 5. First, we need to prepare a and a cl and for the preparation of an acl of course we need an an acl and heated it for two hours at 400 degrees celsius and let it cool in a desiccator next we need a one gram milk powder and two gram an acl and mix it with five ml deionized water in 20 ml heat space bottle using a ms3 turbine mixture for three minutes next for the preparation of the Vanillin and anti-vanillin stock solution, we need 0 0.050 of standard substance and dissolve it in acetonitrile to make a 100 ml solution. Next, for the preparation of vanillin and anti-vanillin intermediate solution, we need 10 ml of standard stock solution and dilute it with acetonitrile to make 100 ml solution. Lastly, for the preparation of series of metric mixture standards working solution we need the standard intermediate mixture solution and dilute it with the blank milk powder matrix lastly the standard curves were plotted with peak area versus analyte concentration hi my name is Zari Sofia and on this part of experiment I will analyzing the result in this slide you can see there is two graph which is figure A and figure B Figure A shows the graph of MSSIM chromatogram of vanillin and antivanillin that has been detected in a sample of milk powder. However, figure B represents the mass of spectra of vanillin. From both figures, we can see that vanillin, which is peak 1, has the shorter retention time, which is 9.647 minutes. During that time, the mass of ion charge ratio is on their maximum, where the mass to charge ratio is 1 and 50. For your information, this ratio is important in order to determine the structure of the compound. For the next part of this analysis, we will discuss about the detection of vanillin in milk powder based from the table below. The standard solution of vanillin, which is 0 0.1, 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 1.0 and 2.0 mg per kilogram was prepared in the ionized water that was used for the construct of calibration plot. From the table, we can see that the concentration of vanillin in milk powder has detected with 12 samples, while for formula milk has detected for 16 samples. Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. My name is Nur Mashita Ahmad Saad and I will be explaining on the discussion part. The first one is the selection of the extraction fiber type. Non-polar fiber coating had higher extraction efficiency for non-polar volatile compounds, while polar fiber coating had higher extraction efficiency for polar compounds according to the law of similar multiple solubility. This study was conducted under the temperature of 70 degrees Celsius oscillator rotation rate at 500 rpm to intubation for 10 minutes and had space solid phase micro extraction time for 20 minutes. Next, when all other parameters were held constant, the peak area changes of vanillin at incubation time was 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50 minutes. The peak areas of analytes and the rotation rates of 250, 400, 500, 600, and 700 rpm. The peak area of the analytes at 40, 
50, 60, 70, 80 and 90. Next, the changes of the peak area of the analyzed under different desorption temperatures at 230, 240, 250, 260 and 270 were studied. As for the decision and recovery, you may refer here. Assalamualaikum and hi, my name is Haika bin Suhaimi and I'll be presenting on the conclusion. This study shows that the spike recovery for vitamin is about 90% to 99%. This shows that this study result is very accurate as it has a huge value of spike recovery. Next, the relative standard deviation RSD for vitamin is range from 2.3% to 4.1%. Lower RSD means that the result is very precise. The limit of detection LOD of vitamin is 0.1 mg per kilogram with calibration coefficient of 0.9992. The reading is very precise and accurate as it is near to 1. Lastly, this method is suitable for the determination of vanillin making powder due to its properties. Hi, my name is Zarit Sofia and I will start this experiment with introduction. What is HPLC? HPLC is a short form of high performance liquid chromatography. It is an analytical method to separate a component of a mixture by utilizing the liquid mobile phase so that we can identify the component that contain in the mixture easily. HPLC are also used to separate the chemical mixtures including the non-volatile and thermally unstable compound such as organic and inorganic. For the principle of HPLC, the analyte will be injected onto the top of the column and as the analyte and mobile phase pump through the column, so the separation will occur. Each peak represents each component. The response of detector displayed known as chromatogram. In this case, phenylene is being separated by using the nucleosyl C18 column by using water and methanol as the mobile phase. Vanillin peak will be confirmed by comparing with its specified UV spectrum. Hi, my name is Wana Kida Binti Wen and I will explain about the metallurgy in experiment 6. So first, the vanillin stock solution with Mg per ml was prepared in a mobile free solution. Then it was stored in a chamber bottle at 40 degrees Celsius. Next, it was diluted with acidified water methanol with acidic pH range is 4.8 to 6.3. After that, we discovered that the retention time are short since it takes only 2.21 minutes. Lastly, at the maximum absorption of vanillin, we found that the wavelength is 231 nanometer and the peak is confirmed by comparing it with the UV spectrum. Thank you, Wan. Assalamualaikum and hi, my name is Haikal. Without any further ado, let's proceed with the result. The first one is the spectrum of vanillin diluted in a mobile phase of water methanol 40 to 60 ratio and acidified pH of 4.8 to 6.3. From this spectrum, we can see that there are four peaks of pure vanillin. The first peak corresponds at 204 nanometer. The second peak corresponds at 230.9 nanometer. The third peak corresponds at 279.3 nanometer, and the fourth peak corresponds at 310.1 nanometer. Based on these peaks, we can know that the wavelength of maximum absorption is 230.9 nanometer as it is the highest peak on the spectrum. From this table, we can know that different types of mobile phases will cause the value for a maximum wavelength that is considered the most adequate for vanillin quantification to be different. For the chromatogram of vanillin, the rotation time of vanillin is 2.175 minutes. No interference of other compounds present in ethanol vanilla extracts was detected at 231 nanometer. Hi and Assalamualaikum, my name is Nur Atisha binti Mohamad Ruslan. As for the discussion, this experiment found that the organic phase consists of water methanol with ratio 4060. As the most suitable mobile phase, it was composed of 40% ultra pure water and 60% HPLC grade methanol. The spectrum of vanillin in water methanol solution showed that 231 nanometer as the wavelength of maximum absorbance. The flow rate obtained was 1 ml per minute. It means that the volume of mobile phase passing through the column in unit time is 1 ml per minute. As referred to the chromatogram of vanillin, 
the amount of time required for the vanillin to travel between the injection port and its elution from the column is 2.175 minutes. Hi, my name is Nur Mashita Ahmad Soan and I will be concluding this experiment. The method that was used to determine vanillin in vanilla essential oil such as HPLC managed to provide a good result. All in all, the objective of this experiment was to develop a simple and rapid HPLC technique only for vanillin determination in ethyl alcohol extract of vanilla pots was met. In this study, the vanillin indeed was diluted in a mobile phase of water methanol 40 ratio of 60 and acidified pH of 4.8 to 6.3 has shown a value of 231 nanometer as the wavelength of maximum absorption, while the retention time for vanillin was 2.21 minutes. Hence, this proved that this technique can be used by vanilla extract manufacturers and consumers.